everyone this is namrata from iv professional school and welcome to our power bi series so this series we will be covering the different interview questions which are being asked in the power bi related positions so let's start with the questions so the first question is what are the essential applications of power bi or who uses power bi so power bi is mainly used by project management office various business and data analysts developer and database administrators it teams and it professionals consumers who look for the end user report and data scientists let's move on to the next question so what is the general need for power bi or why do businesses need power bi so power bi helps to utilize the data available and create reports which makes it very easy to understand the current conditions of the business it also helps in assist in attracting new clients to a service and monitoring the customers who are already present and power bi reports also helps to track certain informations which help the businesses to set goals further so overall the need for power bi is basically building an extraction transformation and loading solution or etl solution which assists the management to make better decisions for their business the roi when it comes to power bi is definitely very high and lastly definitely the unwanted it also converts unwanted information or data into information which can be used very progressively later on moving on to the third question so what are the three important power bi tools so they are the power bi desktop which is free and it is utilized or used in desktops or systems power bi service which is a paid online software service as a tool so there is a certain charge to use power bi services and power bi mobile apps which are used for ios and android devices next question so what are the important components of the power bi toolkit and what do they do so number 1 is power query it helps us to discover access and consolidate information from different sources power pivot it's basically a modeling tool where the data modeling is being done the power view it is basically a presentation tool for creating charts tables and many more power map helps to create geospatial representations of your data and power question and answers which allows the natural language to or ai to get different answers to your questions so fourth question where is data stored in power bi so when data is put into power bi it is basically stored into facts and dimension tables so what are fact tables so fact table is the central table or the big table in the star schema of a data warehouse which stores the quantitative informations for analysis and is generally generally not normalized in most cases and the dimension tables are usually the small tables in the star schema that is used to store the attributes and dimensions that describes the objects stored in the fact table so what is the purpose of git data icon in power bi so once anyone opens the power bi so they will get the get data option on the left hand side panel so get data basically as you can understand from the heading name get data means getting the data into power bi so when users click on get data option in power bi a drop down menu comes which shows the various data sources from which the data can be ingested into power bi so there are various data sources like excel csv xml json pdf sharepoint databases such as sql access oracle mysql and much more Power BI datasets also Power BI datasets and Power BI data flows are compatible so data can also be taken from Azure and other online sources let's move on to the next question so what are the different views in Power BI desktop so once you start working on Power BI you will be usually seeing on the left hand side panel there are three icons so these three are basically the three views in Power BI so the first is the report view where people can add visualizations and report pages and publish the same on the portal from there data view is basically where the data shaping can be performed through the power query editor tools 
and relationship view which basically manages the relationship or where the user can create the data model based on which the reports can be prepared mark on the left hand side panel probably and once you click on any of the views you basically get directed to that particular report page in the power bi dashboard so it basically includes like a filter or state of visual which can use a shortcut to come back to the report that you can add as a bookmark so what are the different types of filters in power bi so power bi provides a variety of options to filter report data and visualization so the three important filters in power bi are the visual level filters these filters work mainly on individual visualization reducing the amount of data that the visualization can see and moreover visual filters can filter both data and calculations what are page level filters so these filters as the name suggest work on report page level and different pages in the same report can have different page level filters what are report level filters these filters work on the entire report filtering all the pages and visualizations included in the report so these filter three filters you can basically see when you open any report page in the power bi so on the right hand side you will be able to see this three types of filters so what are the building blocks in a power bi so the main building blocks in power bi are visualization data sets reports dashboards and tiles let's understand the visualize details components in details visualizations are basically the representation or the visual representations of data so they can be in form of like pie charts bar charts maps matrix tables and many more data sets data sets are collection of data that power bi uses to create its visualizations like the data sources of excel sheets oracle sql azure from where you actually ingest the data into power bi report report are basically collections of different visuals that appear together in one or more pages like maybe a sales report which has sales by country state city report logistic performance report profit reports of products etc dashboard dashboard is a single layer presentation of the multiple visualizations that we can where we can integrate one or more visualizations into one page like a sales dashboard can have three different report pages showing three different types of reports in one dashboard and lastly what are tiles tile is a single visualization in a report or on a dashboard like a pile chart in a dashboard or report Hope you have liked this video. Thank you. Thank you.